Oh my doobins. So we just checked out where we're going tonight. Uh, there's lots and lots of offices, but we're not going to bother with the offices. Um, because while we were there, it's basically a big square hallway. It goes around in a big square. And it's pretty wide open. Um, but there's a lot of traffic in there. I mean, just walking down the hallway, um, there's all kinds of spiritual energy and stuff like that. Uh, so we're not going to bother with the offices in that place. Uh, I think we're going to get everything we want in the hallways. So um, that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to we're going to just stick to the hallways. Um, there's a couple spots where there's window sills where I can sit on and do some uh, EVPs and stuff like that that I want to tackle. Um, I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, also, right now, uh, we're uh, next door. Uh, talking to see if we can get in that side of the basement. Um, I don't know if we will or not. Uh, I'm sitting here waiting to find out if we're going to get permission for the other half of this building. Uh, because it's rented out by other people, so... We'll see, we'll see if Bra's uh, golden tongue can get us in there, too. Uh, that would be really cool. That'd be like a bonus uh, investigation spot. So we just gotta wait and see. Um, I'll let you know uh, if we got the uh, spot or not, and uh, yeah. So seven o'clock tonight, we will be doing the halls on, on the second floor of the Renaissance building. Uh, I think they got a story to tell, and uh, we're gonna see what the hell the story is tonight. Um, <laughs> that's funny, I don't know why the spirits don't care for broad too much here. Went to get in the elevator, uh, I got in the elevator, no problem. Uh, but I got in at the bottom, no problem. Uh, the, stores, the, the door stayed open for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Went upstairs. <laughs> I pushed a button. As soon as I stepped in, Bra stepped in right behind me and the doors closed on him. Uh, they weren't even open for like 10 seconds. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, I tried the doors again. You know, open the door and that again. And it stayed for like 30 seconds. So, yeah. So, I it just didn't like bra very much. It closed the door on bra, which made me laugh. And bra laughed. Uh, he said, what I do to you? You want some of this? It was kind of funny. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, that's it for now. And I'll let you know what happens when bra gets back to the car. All right, everybody. So, here we are. Uh, bra just got back from talking with the people. Uh, the people uh, located at Pace, who are in the far corner of the Renaissance building, where we've been spending a lot of our time, uh, went in there to see if we can, you know, get their space. Uh, the only problem, uh, when I was talking to the assistant director, Heather, the only problem is who is going to be with us while we investigate the basement and the space after they're closed, and what day. That's the pro that's the only thing they got to figure out now, and they're going to get back to us. I gave them my phone number. I gave them our email address. It's written down on the waiver form. They have the waiver. They are, you know, everyone I talked talk to in there, who told, I told them what I was doing and doing everything else, all said the same thing. Cool. Nice. So, <laughs> we're in. Nice. All right, so there you have it, people. We got another place to investigate, uh, which works out really good for us. So, yeah, good job, brother. All right, well, this is, this is, what I, uh, this is why I make the big bucks as a team contact. You know, talking to people and get these things organized. <laughs> yeah, because after you choke slam people, they're not very talkative. You're not. You can't do that. That is not a good negotiation tool. Hey, if that's not a good negotiating tool, you're just it's simply not, not trying it's hard enough. Country boy charm. Oh, well, I found that in in my experience, if you choke slam someone two or three times, they're more agreeable. Yeah, well, um, he, he, I don't think Heather would be agreeable after a choke slam. Oh. This is why he's team contact. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm the investigator and the, and the guy that works on the cinemas. Mm -hmm. uh, because um, uh, electronics uh, don't do well with violence. Well, no, it's a, which is surprising with your tendency to want to choke slam things. I know. Okay, but you know, if you choke slam it, you got to get another one. Yeah, I'm Scottish. I don't want to spend the money. No, no. Yeah. You know, just just wash it and it's a tune up. Yeah, I get it. Oh, and his bra would say, oh, we're not drunk. We're not drunk. I was afraid that I might have to, you know, 
get somebody drunk for us to get in there. But evidently, like I said, everyone said, cool. Cool is good. All right, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. All right. We'll see you later. We're coming back here later tonight to do the second floor. And then in a few days, we should get uh, the, the last on the main floor and that and those basements. And we're done like dinner. And this, this building is done. Done and dusted and moving on to the next. All right. All right, talk to you later. Later. Peace of light. Mwah.